In this video tutorial, I will teach you how you can create your store procedure in MySQL database and then call the store procedure from the Java program. Our store procedure simply inserts the data into a table in MySQL database. Let's first create the table into the MySQL database. So table is created, here is table EMP, then we are going to create the store procedure, the MySQL. So here, here, the, here is the store procedure, you will get all the code for creating the table and the store procedure from our website. You will find the link of the tutorial in the video description below. This is the SQL for creating the table and this is the SQL for creating the store procedure. Let's create the project in the Eclipse file new Java project then mysql sp mysql store procedure example next and then click on the finish now we'll create a new folder live and we will copy the mysql jar file here now go to the properties add jar file and this is the lib file click ok now create a package finish and We'll create the class here. Store procedure example. Click on public static void min checkbox so that it will create the main method. Now we'll import java.sql.asterisk and this is the code for running the example. We'll put in the try and catch block. Arrow is uh, e dot get masses. So log is ready, and we'll copy the paste paste the code here. source and then format it seems there is some error class and then this call this is a procedure now it is ok seems what is the error here So first parameter is name, then second parameter is also a string, the father's name, 
Mr. Singh and third is the password. So now it is correct. And what we, we are doing is uh, we are connecting to the employees. So our database is GTBC example root and root password is correct. And the procedure name is EMP PROC employee proc username name then father's name and the password. And uh, we are calling the pro procedure with the help of prepare call and then we are this is the SQL for calling the procedure and we, then we are setting these values and executing the so everything is done and now we will run the example so data has been inserted into the table so let's see the data in the EMP so it is inserted. Uh, this way you can create a stored procedure in MySQL, then call the stored procedure from Java program. We have hundreds of tutorials on JDBC on our website and you can visit the website to learn the JDBC programming here. So we have video tutorials also and then the articles and then examples on JDBC on our website. Thanks for watching the tutorial and visit our website to check all these tutorials.